Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have one of the absolute most striking and most impressive looking figures from Collect Day for their 2023 year. We have the Ruyangasaurus, and man, is this thing ever impressive in person. Such a presence to this one. A very, very cool, very unique looking sauropod that I couldn't be happier to enter into my collection. And yes, that's right, this is another brand new species to my collection. That's like three or four. Four, I think potentially four. This is like the fourth, I believe, this year from Collect Day. Again, as far as new species to my collection go, that is really exciting. And yet again, they have done an incredible job on this. The sculpt looks really good. The overall paint job looks pretty darn nice. It's definitely the type of coloration that I would expect to see on a sauropod. Nothing overly flashy, nothing overly intricate, which is pretty much exactly how I like my sauropods. So as far as this one goes, I think at this point you're probably already impressed, but let's see if we can make you a little more impressed with a closer look at it right now. Starting up here at the head sculpt of our Ryangasaurus, you can see such a really nice, gentle, giant appearance to that head sculpt. It looks very, very well done. Nice, very fine texturing to the skin. We probably wouldn't really be able to make out how nice the scale detail really would be on a sauropod or even the skin texture at this size because this is a massive, massive titanosaur. So it would be huge. And even at this size range, again, that would be a gigantic head sculpt. But I think they did do a very good job as far as the actual texturing that we can see. And you can also see there is a dark wash present yet again on this figure. The eye is painted yet again with a nice glossy black like all of the figures this year have had. And you can see a really nice gloss coat to that black eye which makes it shine quite nicely. The ear is sculpted out back there behind the head. You also have the nostrils up here on the top of the snout. The mouth obviously is sculpted in a closed position. We have a little bit here as far as the upper part of the head. You have a little bit of like a greenish tone up here on the top of the head. Almost like a greenish wash that was applied there to the top of the head of the dinosaur. As you start to move down the course of the neck, you start to see those ridges picking up here running along the back of the dinosaur. You also have some nice scoots that run down the course of the side of the neck as well as some really nice looking scale detail throughout. You've got a little bit of hanging skin here in the throat region. You also have a nice lighter tone of color for that skin with a nice light gray and some pretty nice like creasing and wrinkling in that area. As you continue to move down, you can see some slight shading and everything that's been applied with a darker tone right there but you continue to see that super long neck of our sauropod moving down you again have the nice ridges running along the back they're painted with kind of like a nice light brown as well as those kind of like scoots or osteoderms moving down the course of the neck and the really nice looking texturing to the skin as you move down that really nice looking scale detail you start to pick up some of those sort of scoots here on the underside of the neck as well in the light gray area and it's incredibly impressive not only how nice done the sculpt is but how long that neck is look at how long that is that is ridiculously long such a very long neck for a sauropod and you can obviously see it increasing in size as we lead down here toward the bottom of the neck but you can also see that those ridges pick up pretty nicely in size before decreasing to a very small amount of ridges here as you move down toward the body. You also can see that those sort of scoots and stuff that we saw moving down the course of the neck start to pick up with a different tone of color right here with that same brown that we see for the ridges running along the back. I actually think I would have preferred to have seen that color run the entire way up as far as those go. I think it would have looked really neat to have all of them painted out rather than just down here on the body. It still looks nice like this, but it could have looked a little bit cooler, I think. You can also see that we have that greenish tone running along the back of the dinosaur, and it's really subtle that I actually didn't even notice it in the promotional images. It's not till I actually had the figure here in hand, and even in hand, it's still really subtle. You almost don't even notice it until you actually look at it from directly above. That's how subtle that you know, tone of color is, and it's very smooth as far as the way it kind of transitions down to the lighter grays of the body. You can also pick up on the nice muscle definition moving down the course of the leg. You have another little bit of like a two ridges right here, as well as some more kind of scoots and stuff down there. You can see some more shading that they've applied here with a darker tone of color, and some nice movement shown in the skin, as well as just some really nice tensing in the leg. You can really see the leg is 
holding the dinosaur holding and bearing a lot of the weight of the dinosaur right here so they have sculpted out that tensing nicely you can also pick out the elbow back here a few more scoots moving down and then as you lead down into that foot sculpt the foot sculpt looks really good the dark wash also highlights the detail here in the leg very nicely but one thing i will say is even though the dark wash looks nice down here i feel like it was added a little bit too light up here in the side of the dinosaur it definitely i think could have used that dark wash applied a little bit darker to highlight the detail a little bit nicer throughout more realistically like we had seen on the triceratops for instance you can see though that again we lighten the tone of color of gray here and here in the stomach region quite nicely and we have that darker tone sort of outline the lower part of that lighter tone quite beautifully you can see the skin is kind of bunching up again as the dinosaur is walking along the legs are kind of squishing the skin there of the stomach region and then as you lead up here you again have all of those sort of scoots that begin to turn more from scoots into ridges and they get really big as you move here along the back of the dinosaur and turn into straight up like spikes moving along the back of our Ruyangasaurus and they do taper back off again to more of like a scoot like appearance but that really gives the dinosaur a very unique and very flashy look for the dinosaur like that really makes a sauropod stand out to have something like that and they're all painted really nicely again with that light brown and there is some nice fine detail contained within those areas you can see kind of like you know cracks and crevices and sort of like chips and stuff taken out of those areas so some really nice healthy doses of realism contained within those areas of the sauropod as you move down the rear leg you can kind of see some muscle definition right there you can also see some more nice shading right there and then as you lead down you've got kind of like some more scoots right there moving down into the foot sculpt a really nice looking foot sculpt here the nails are painted with the same color that we have for the ridges and everything and the spikes running along the back of the dinosaur you can again see that that dark wash really has highlighted the detail quite nicely though in that leg and then as you move out here into the tail you can actually see the seam where the tail was connected but uh, the figure is huge like it is massive definitely the biggest collect day figure for this year and once you actually look at it from afar you don't notice it at all even up close it's not super visible so I think they did do a very good job of hiding that seam very nicely but I did want to point out that it is visible as you move out though into the tail you start to have a really nice curve you can see the tail leads up and curves and then curves back the opposite way a little bit really nice natural looking curve i think it looks really good on the figure and the actual texturing of the skin and everything looks great as you move out and again the really nice transitions of color as you have that lighter green running along the top and then the lighter tones of grays moving along the underside as you look at the actual underside of the figure you again see a smooth transition as we lead to this light gray we do have the cloaca present but in a very rare instance of collect day we actually don't have alternate coloration for the cloaca they often kind of highlight the cloaca with a darker tone of color but you don't see that on this one which is very interesting because that's not something you usually see for a collect day release and even though it says 2022 it obviously is a 2023 release it was just sculpted in 2022 and you could see again that the texturing and everything to the underside looks nice you have some muscle definition in the chest and you also have almost like a little pot belly for the sauropod definitely some girth there showing that it's pretty well fed and then of course that exceptionally long neck moving back up and then if we take a look at the opposing side you can again see that that head sculpt looks really nice very nice again gentle giant look to that head sculpt and we move down the length of our exceptionally long neck you can see all of those scoots and osteoderms moving down those ridges running along the back of the neck right there as they again decrease in size before picking up in a major way but the majority of the figure isn't going to look too different on this side compared to the initial side there's no real turn in the neck or anything it's pretty much just straight up straight forward overall the difference would lie in the legs here because you could see that the one leg is stepping forward the other leg here is trailing this leg is obviously in mid step about to plant before the opposing leg picks up off of the ground and you can yet again see the actual detailing looks good as far as the movement of the leg and the kind of tensing in the leg as it moves along looks really nice and again they've highlighted the detail very nicely with that darker wash 
Really beautiful looking foot sculpt right there. And you lead up here, you can see the skin stretching off of the stomach. Same deal for the rear leg. Again, some more shading moving around that lighter tone in the mid stomach area and that nice green running along the top. And then we have the leg here trailing again as it's walking along. This leg is actually about to take a step forward, I would say right there. You can see the scoots and stuff running down the course of the leg. And again, those nicely painted nails for the foot. And then you lead out into the tail. The tail, again, is sculpted in an upward position, so you're not really going to see any big-time difference over here compared to the initial side. But this is absolutely one of the most impressive Collect A figures for 2023, not just species-wise, but the entire thing has such, again, a massive presence to it that it is without question that type of figure that when someone comes into your collection room, they're going to point out and question you about because it is definitely a conversation maker. It is that nice looking. So this is a monster of a figure. You can see it is really quite large. So to show you that as far as a size goes lengthwise from the tail to the snout, you're looking at about 17 inches or around 43 centimeters and height wise to the top of the head, I would say around 11 and a half inches or just shy of 20, and actually I would say almost perfectly on the dot of about 29 centimeters for a size comparison. There is our massive Ruyangasaurus next to Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line. And uh, again, you can definitely see and have hopefully a good healthy respect for the size of this model because it is gigantic, especially next to these figures here. Mr. Papo Rex, he's a pretty big figure himself. He stands no chance against this Ruyangasaurus. We've also got the Deluxe Collect A Dimetrodon here, which you can see again, even though it's a pretty big figure, is tiny next to this Ruyangasaurus. The Age of Dinosaurs Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Feathered Rex here, also looks super tiny next to the Ruyangasaurus, and as does the Age of Dinosaurs Swimming Spinosaurus. You can see that as well is very, very small in comparison. But if we bring in the newer Spinosaurus from Collect A, you can still see it also looks small. It at least has a bigger size. It definitely is getting there, but... Still no comparison for this Ruyangasaurus. Now the Edmontosaurus starts to make kind of a dent here when it comes to a comparison of size. It's not too far off. Well, I mean, it's definitely far off from the size, but at least the body mass is there to make the Edmontosaurus at least look pretty impressive in comparison. And then for a comparison that's pretty fun, we have the Invicta Diplodocus next to the Ruyangasaurus, which you can see is another decently sized sauropod, but obviously is no match for this Ruyangasaurus. And then I had two very specific review comparison requests from Torvo Faganax on YouTube, as he was wanting to see the Collect a Daxia Titan here next to the Ruyangasaurus, and you can obviously see that there is a huge size difference between these two, though. Again, they look super cool together, I can't deny that. And the other one that he was hoping to see a comparison with is the Collect a Argentinosaurus. So you can see again that the Argentinosaurus is even smaller than the Daxia Titan as far as a comparison goes. And uh, obviously the Ruyangasaurus here is the leader when it comes to Collect Day sauropods. But then when it comes to large scale sauropods from Collect Day, we also have the Mementisaurus that was released, I think last year or the year before. And you can definitely see a pretty similar size between these two, but obviously the Ruyangasaurus yet again wins this round. However, they do look super, super cool together, especially with the necks almost kind of intertwined like that. Imagine having another Ruyangasaurus from Collect Day with a similar pose to the Mementisaurus where you can kind of display the two together. That would be an incredible diorama. But again, I feel like this might be one of the most impressive Collect A comparisons I can give you when it comes to two of their large sauropods. We've also got a Mattel Dilophosaurus and Velociraptor here for one more comparison just to kind of iron out the fact that this is an exceptionally large Collect A release. Okay, so because the figure's so impressive, I decided to just do two more comparisons. We've got the Zuni Ceratops from the Beasts of the Mesozoic line here next to our Ruyengasaurus, and for one final comparison, We've got the standard Age of Dinosaurs Dino Kyrus from Collect Day as well next to this insanely large sauropod just to give you that one final shot of how huge it is. So this brand new 2023 Collect Day Ruyangasaurus is phenomenal and easily one of my favorite figures from this year. Obviously because it's just so impressive looking, it's so unique, it's such a really cool unique species. 
but also just because in general it is a really nice natural looking very calm and sort of serene looking sauropod like it looks so gentle it looks just like i want to run up and give him a hug because he probably is the nicest dinosaur ever and then that would end by me getting stomped on and killed but it is just so nicely done overall as far as the fine detail. It is really beautiful looking as you move down the course of that really elegant looking neck of the sauropod. You have those nice ridges running along the back and that brownish tone of color really highlights that area as well as all of those scoots moving down the side of the neck before leading down into the body and we start to see that kind of like spiky look there to the back of the dinosaur as you move down toward the back leading out into the tail and it just gives it such a unique and really cool appearance as far as a sauropod goes it's not something that you often see on sauropods so that really makes it stand out i think more so than many others and collect aid did a great job of giving it a nice kind of naturalistic walking pose i mean a dinosaur this huge what really could you do with it as far as different positioning i feel like the pose is pretty much perfect i could just envision a big herd of these just walking along maybe migrating or something and it just really brings a nice visual to my mind and again collect aid honestly achieved the positioning and everything perfectly as far as the fine detail goes as well i would say that's pretty much perfect and the paint job is really nice the tones of color they've chosen for it work really well for the animal they applied the paint really nicely overall very smooth transitions the only thing i think that could have improved it would have been maybe a little bit of a darker wash throughout the course of the figure just making the wash a little more obvious because it's just a tad too light in certain areas i think it looks really good moving down the legs but maybe a little bit more like darkening of the wash in the stomach region and up into the back and stuff could have highlighted the detail a little bit nicer but that's a very minor nitpick. The only other thing that it would have changed as far as the paintwork goes would have been to actually paint out all of those scoots and stuff moving up the course of the neck. Maybe the ones on the underside I would have let go to continue to have that light coloration. But moving up along the side and the back of the neck and stuff, I definitely would have painted all of those out. And I think it would have stood out a little bit more. But even without that, I still think it looks great. And as a whole, is definitely one of the standouts for this year from Collect Days. So if you are interested in this, this will be hitting the store of everything dinosaur very very soon i do believe this is slated to release this month or sometime early next month maybe i think that's the plan but don't quote me on that so when this does come into stock absolutely pick it up it is certainly worth purchasing and make sure you also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching